Hi, welcome again. So, let us talk about control flow analysis in this video lesson. So, we have been talking about static analysis by tools and I told you two important studies will be done by static analyzers on source codes. One analysis is called control flow analysis. Another analysis is called data flow analysis. So, in this lesson, let us talk about control flow analysis. So, we talked previously about how to look at a source code and convert the source code into what we call control flow diagrams and we try to understand the various structures that will be used inside a source code. So, now let us understand what is control flow analysis and what kind of control flow problems can be found by static analysis tools and at the end we will do an exercise to manually look at a logic in the source code form and find various types of control flow problems in the program. So, control flow analysis, what is meant by control flow analysis? Control flow analysis is study of the control flow through program code. It can be done manually, but it is often done with a tool. A particular logic has been developed using sequential statement structures in between few decisions and then loops and using that almost every logic, any complex logic can be built using those basic structures. So now as control for analysis, we are analyzing it and trying to pinpoint some potential problems in the control flow design of a program and it can be done manually. We have to apply our brains. We have to look at the code, carefully examine it and based on our knowledge of good control flow design, we have to find those defects. But they can be better done with a tool and to analyze the control flow of a program, always it is better if we have a control flow diagram representing the source code. In a previous video lesson, we tried to understand how from a source code we can create a control flow graph and using some of the control flow studies we can highlight the defects and anomalies that are in the logic of the program. So typical defects that are found when we do control flow analysis of a program is we can identify badly designed loops. The loops are badly designed meaning if you enter a loop, the logic is written in such a way that you cannot come out of the loop and those kind of loops are called infinite loops. This can create serious failures in the program. A particular condition occurs and the program execution gets into the loop and that's it. It cannot come out of that execution. Then the whole computer will hang. So it can create very serious failures. So you can find those kind of problems, badly designed loops, especially wherever infinite loops have been designed and also at times programmers make mistakes and unknowingly create what we call dead code. So once a particular incident happens, a, a particular statements will never ever get executed. We create such conditions in the logic and those are called inaccessible or dead code. We will talk about each of these examples and later on we will do an exercise as well. And the third type of defects that are found using control for analysis is uncalled and undefined functions and procedures. When in a control flow of a program, you will call many subroutines. So sometimes you call some subroutines that are not in your program and sometimes you call some subroutines that are not in your program logic. So those are also, they can create serious failures. So all these type of problems can be found by doing a thorough control flow analysis and as I told you this can be done manually using our minds and brains and also they can be done automatically by intelligent programs and those programs are called static analyzers. Now let us look at some example defects here. I have a piece of code on the screen. What is wrong with this code? Let us even though you are not a computer science engineer, even though you have never written a program, they are all written in a high level, uh, they are simple logic. So what happens in this code? So here 
there are some variables n, y, x. So n has been assigned 1, y is 0 and you are reading a value for x and you are telling if while x is greater than y that is a loop while is a loop while this condition x is greater than y true do the rest of the statements then once the condition is not true then come out of the loop that is how it has been written now just in your mind calculate what happens let's say we get inside the loop so we have read a x value of x 5 so y equal to 0 that is what we have assigned so by the time we came to the loop while loop there x is 5 and y is 0 so it will enter the loop so it will go to right n multiplied by y okay so that statement will be executed n is equal to n plus 1 so n will be become 2 now x is equal to x plus y x is 5 so 5 plus 0 5 so the value of x has not changed so all the statements in the while have been executed so it will go back to the beginning of the loop what is the value of x now 5 what is the value of y 0 then again it goes by the end of the loop what is the value of x again 5 value of y is 5 so what happened now will it ever come out of this loop no it cannot come out of the loop because we have designed that way so this is what we call infinite loop it will never exit because x and y will never change once it enters the loop so this is a bad code this will hang now let us take this program let's say we have created a situation where we are not entering the loop so i read a value of x minus 5 and we are, assi we are assigning a value for y is 0 so what will happen while x greater than y is not true because x is minus 5 y is 0 so i will not enter the loop directly i'll come to the end while there and then the next statement after end while is what if y is equal to 2 then write n into x what will happen what is the value of y now y is 0 because i assigned y is 0 so you y equal to 2 will never happen so write n multiplied by x that statement will never ever be executed and that kind of code is called dead code can never be executed because y is set to 0 and is never changed so these are the kind of problems in logic that can be found easily by carefully analyzing the control flow design of a program so let us try with more examples what is unreachable or dead code you have a segment of source code there so what is the problem here the name count is a variable it has been assigned as zero and while name count is greater than 100 do whatever that is in the braces there will it ever happen in fact here the developer made a mistake it should not be greater than but developer made a mistake of typing it as less than because of that what happened we have created a dead code inside the loop this code will never be executed because it will never ever enter the loop so this is an example of dead code now the statements between lines 8 to 10 cannot be executed why it cannot be executed because name count is zero the developer instead of using less than used a greater than and accidentally created a piece of code that can never be executed so these are typical control flow problems that can be found much before execution of the code that is what is the benefit of static analysis now let us look at further examples i have a code segment in front of you there are few lines early in the code section and few lines in the later lines of the code so here in the line number 25 we are calling function place word with parameters as word list and word length but there is no subroutine by this name in this whole program so we are calling an undefined subroutine that is again another type of control flow problem 
and if you look at from 154 to 156 statements there we have a subroutine called place next word with some parameters but this has never been called in the program at all so this is a defined subroutine that is never called these are another type of problems of control flow of a program so so undefined subroutine called at line 25 and unused subroutine has been defined at line 50, 154 so this is another example of control flow problem so what we talked is that the control flow analysis is study of the flow of execution how it has been designed or how the logic has been built using the basic control flow structures that are available in any programming language and programmers while developing they make a lot of mistakes and these mistakes even before compiling can be found either manually or by applying static analyzers so static analyzers will be very efficient and they can find most of these faults very early in the life cycle so hope you have understood so we will apply whatever we have learned and solve few exercises in the next lesson so hope you have enjoyed learn and have fun